So with that in mind, um, let's see if we can do an upgrade skill. A little hit up finger was along the way. Yeah. So. Fingerings first, but um, here I'll show you. Um, when you're holding the base finger, you want to keep your thumb like like this. You want to keep the contradictory motion, like right, right there with the first finger. Yeah, well, all of the fingers really. Oh. But um, so when you're closing the note here, you just want to make sure that you're not flattening out like this, because when you do that, you push down the string, then there's there's still room for it's it's not completely stopped. So you want to make sure you're like right there, and then come down with your fourth finger. You, you almost shift this down just to, to get that pinching motion. So it's not huge, it's not like that, but it's it's a little bit. So maybe it's on the second finger. Mm -hmm. So when you're playing that major scale, you do. the bow on the string and how you're doing, doing the fingers. so much resistance in the string that it helps to have all of that, especially with the weak finger like the fourth finger. Um, it's pretty good. Let's do, uh, we do G major now. And this is, F major is what's in, called, uh, it's called half position. So you're starting a half step up from an open string, half position. Um, and then G major is in first position which is a whole step up. Your first finger is a whole step up from major string, from open string, sorry. So what you can do is put your first finger on the F sharp. So if you find the F, you play the F and go half step up from that and put your first finger there.
sure you're keeping your second finger on that, on the G. Mm -hmm. And notice you're playing a lot out onto the, on the tip of the bow. Yeah. You're getting a better sound if you can play more towards the frog. Yeah. So for G major, you're going to go two on the G. Yeah. Open A. Switching majors? Yep. <laughs>